So I've been thinking about using an old PC supply as sort of like a, a USB charger where it would have like a USB port or at least be connected to a cable. And originally I was thinking of using it to power a uh, Odroid, but um, since I got a thicker cable, it's kind of been working with the charger. So um, I'm not, don't think I'm really going to pursue this project, but on a related note, I did do something similar um, to try to make like an audio uh, amplifier, but um, it was kind of a, a bad use of a supply, but um, here's a video about that. So this is a stupid idea I had, which um, has some issues, but basically what happened was, um, like I've been thinking of, because you can use the an AT or ATX supply as basically a, a power supply for five volts, negative, uh, I'm not sure what it was, negative 12. I mean, when you have a negative voltage, it's it means that the the voltage has has slid up. Um, you know the, the 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 baseline is slid up, so that can be an issue if you have another device that um, is also connected that has a different um, base point, right? But the potential difference, for example, between uh, positive 12 volts and zero is 12 volts, right? But as I say, it becomes an issue when you you come in contact with some other device that's got some other um, you know, voltage reference, but, um, what's happened here is, um, I think this is an AT supply and I can't remember. It's been a long time, but I think what I did was I, I wired it up. So the switch is just uh shorted. So there's probably like a little wire in there or something that goes to where it used to be. But I took one copy of each of the wires there and, um, they're soldered to where they go on the board underneath, I believe. So what happened is this is one of those old Sound Blaster 16 cards, and it's got its audio chip. What happened is the line in here, it's underneath this jumper to where the amplifier chip is. So what it's done is it's, it's powered on the amplifier chip that comes with some of these earlier sound cards, right? So, uh, or sorry, yeah, that's from the line. It, that's from the line in uh, goes to the amplifier chip. I, um, let's see, I think it's yeah, it's wide underneath, but it's, I think it's like uh, that chip there, right? So I think it's probably this one. Looks like one of those uh, ST micros actually, but it's, it's an amplifier chip, it's not a micro. But uh, so what's happened here is this is one of these uh, J22 uh, Bluetooth. So what it's doing is that is a Bluetooth receiver for my computer and it's going to this uh, line here. That would usually be for headphone, but in this case it's going here into line in. And then what happens is on the speak route, this is the line that the, the output would always go to uh, here, right? And I made this little thing. What this does is it, it takes, um, you know, headphone line or line out and turns it into these little jacks here that you can put something else in. And one of the big problems with this, this system here is that um, the sound just isn't that good. And it's because, uh, first of all, I don't know if it does the negative part of the waveform. I don't know if I, I wired up the positive or negative of these, these properly. It is technically a stereo device, right? And it functions in stereo. But, um, so what I'm going to do is, I'll, actually I can do this over here because I use my little keyboard here. And the uh, screen here, I can press play. Right? ...by various constituents of the U.S., but rarely acted on. And in fact, the first serious threat of secession came not from the Deep South, but from New England. In 1814, New England so delegates that sound to, the convention here. to protest President James Madison's mercantile policies and the War of 1812, with more extreme delegates making an unsuccessful okay. push to leave the Union. And then, and stop me if you've heard this one already, after the election of Abraham Lincoln in 1860, 11 southern U.S. states broke off from the Republic to form the Confederate States of America, triggering a bloody four years of war. And of course, despite modern attempts by some to claim the Confederacy was fighting for states' rights, not so again, um, this has happened, I think I did this, I think I did this in like 2005, and my rationale would be, it'd be super clean, you know, because it would be like, mostly nothing's happening, it would be from a, a, a supply, and actually there probably is an on bar voltage regulator, so you got, um, you know, a supply, a switching power supply, and an on-board, probably have a, a linear voltage regulator on the board, so it'd be like super clean power. But again, I don't know if it's it's full wave. I don't know if it, it's you know it's positive and negative, and also it's it's uh, it's got some uh, you know power handling parameters and speakers aren't great. It only does probably eight watts or something. But you can see the only changes here are the uh, you know how I trimmed out certain power you know certain lines and hopefully it's done properly. And it just goes on to what those connectors are on that card, or there might have been more than one, but I went into just one of them. 
And you can see it's working. And then there's this the jumper in between one of the input lines and the the input pins of uh, that amplifier chip, which is obviously this uh, that where is it? This chip right here. Should be that chip, I believe. 